welcome back to my channel. My name's Sunny. If you're new, hi, hello, welcome. I post a lot of fitness and lifestyle and tech related videos like this. So if you want to check those out or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPad with iOS 14 and how to make it aesthetically pleasing. I've also done a video like this for your iPhone and I show you how to get the custom app icons without the shortcut redirect. So if you wanted to check that out, I'll leave it in the description down below or up here on a card somewhere. So let's get right into the video. To update your iPad, go into general settings and software update and it should have an option to update your iPad. So firstly, you wanna open up Pinterest and you wanna pick an aesthetic. So personally, I'm really loving beige right now, but you can pick whatever aesthetic or theme that you're going for, like a blue, neutral, gray, pink, whatever kind of floats your boat. And then if you just pick a bunch of photos that you like, if you hold down your finger on a photo and then pin it to a board, then you can save it straight to your camera roll. Next, we wanna customize our widget. So if you download Widget Smith from the App Store, add small widget and click default widget again on the picture and then you have a bunch of options to customize this widget however you want to you can click reminders temperature whatever that you're feeling like so you can also change the font the tint color background and border so obviously whatever you choose make sure it fits in with your aesthetic otherwise if you choose random ones then it's not going to look too pretty when we get to the end so yeah just keep that in mind here i'm just going through all the options once you've picked something that you like make sure to save it and then here i'm showing you how to do a medium widget it's pretty much exactly the same and you can customize it however you want to again there are so many options one thing i would say to keep in mind is if you want to keep it a little bit more aesthetic if you pick the same font so for me i really like the new york font and so I picked that one and then obviously choosing a background color that will work with my aesthetic again. But yeah, just have a play around with all these options. There are literally thousands and thousands of combinations that you can make and whatever really floats your boat. You can also make a custom color if there are colors there that you don't like or doesn't fit with your aesthetic. You can also customize large widgets. So it's exactly the same thing that I've been showing you. And then I'm just going to show you how to add photos from a camera roll onto a widget. So if you scroll down to the photo option and click selected photo and then choose photo, then you just choose a photo that you have saved in your camera roll. Make sure that you choose a photo that will look good in that rectangle because you can't crop these photos unless you go into your camera roll and then crop it and then add it in. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So now that we've made our widgets, we wanna add them to our home screen. And to do that, you just press down on your home screen and make the apps jiggle. Then click the top left corner with the plus symbol to add a widget. Scroll down to the bottom to widget smith and then click that and add widget. Then click on the widget and make sure whatever widget that you've made is there. So if it says small hashtag one, then that means that's the first widget that you made. Or if it says medium hashtag one, then that's the medium widget. It's exactly the same process for a medium or a large widget. So what I'm doing now is just cleaning up my home screen and getting rid of the widgets that were already on my iPad. So this is just to obviously clean it up a little bit and make it aesthetic. I'm also adding in some more medium widgets just so it's to my liking and it looks aesthetic. So from here, we want to customize our apps. To do this, you have to download the Shortcuts app from the App Store. And then once you open it, you click the Add button. And you want to add a new shortcut. You type in Open because you want the shortcut to open the app. And scroll down to the Open App option. Pick a app that you would like to open. It could be any app. Click the three dots next to New Shortcut. And then type in the shortcut name. So I picked the App Store, so I'm just putting in the app store and then click add to home screen and choose a photo so you can choose whatever photo and then crop it to your liking and then click add oh first you have to name it again so put in the app store and then click add in the top right corner and done and now this will be added to your home screen so as you can see it's added to my home screen 
now I'm just cleaning up my home screen and putting everything into folders so it's more organized. Now what we're going to do is change our background. Make sure you pick a background that doesn't have a lot going on or isn't busy. So make sure it's something kind of plain, otherwise it will get in the way of your apps and it won't really look aesthetic. You basically have to do a little bit of trial and error to see what works and what flows and what looks good with your aesthetic. And once you've found a photo that works, then just change your background. Something that I wanted to add in here, so if you click the app, icon that we just made it redirects you to the shortcut homepage to reduce the motion of this I guess you just type into settings reduce motion and whenever you open the app now it will be a little bit more seamless or you won't really notice the transition as much if that makes sense but I thought I'd just add that in there because I've seen a lot of comments asking how to kind of get rid of the shortcut redirect I have a video on my channel that goes through how to get those customized apps without the shortcut redirect for your iPhone. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. So now you want to go ahead and customize all your apps to make it all look aesthetic. I know it takes a lot of time to do this, but that's the price that you have to pay if you want to make it all aesthetic. So here I'm just showing you going through it all for all of my apps. And I'm also adding some more widgets and customizing them and rearranging everything on my home screen so it all kind of looks put together and aesthetic. These are the steps that I went through earlier so that's why I'm speeding them up. Once you've finished rearranging all your apps, customizing all your widgets and customizing your apps, you're pretty much done. So here's the final product. I'm actually pretty happy with it. It looks aesthetic. I know that I could customize a lot more apps, but personally, I don't like the shortcut redirect. So I've only customized a few apps and the rest I've just put into folders. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.